Quick, you're down one in the 90th minute. Who are you subbing in the game? I'm sure most of you NPCs answered Ronaldo, Holland, or the little midget boy from Argentina. But really, there's only one right answer, and that's La Nutmeg Field Fairy the Fourth, the 11-year-old prodigy with severely dangerous anger issues and a rare disease that every time his boot touches the ball, it's an absolute kiss missile screamer top bin banger. When he's on the pitch, he's either absolutely cooking the opponents, attempting outrageous Brexits, or driving the goalie insane. Chelsea is facing relegation, which for those who don't know, it's basically like an NBA team getting sent to the Chinese League. If they lose their next game against Arsenal, they will get sent down and their manager will get decapitated. So, Chelsea signed Lay Nutmeg to a one-game loan to save their poverty club and prevent them from having to learn Chinese. Can the 11-year-old prodigy, La Nutmeg Field Fairy the fourth, save Chelsea? Let's jump right into the biggest match in Chelsea's history. The reason I asked the hypothetical question at the beginning of this video is because Chelsea had to decide who to sub in down 44 to zero. Chelsea was getting absolutely pummeled by Arsenal, so their manager called up and signed La Nutmeg Field Ferry mid-game. Chelsea fans in pubs everywhere went crazy when they heard the news they finally have some hope. But down 44 to zero, they are going to need to mount the biggest comeback in the history of sports. Let's see if Field Fairy can save Chelsea. La Nutmeg wasted no time and immediately executed a mesmerizing rainbow volley banger. The crowd files back into the stadium as the scoreboard updated to 44 to 1, signaling the beginning of a potential comeback. Seconds later, the 11-year-old strikes again and takes a bow in front of the Chelsea fans to signal his arrival. Chelsea fans aren't used to seeing goals because their club is atrocious, so they all hop online and order Lay Nutmeg jerseys in praise as he completes the quickest hat trick in history. Speaking of jerseys, I'll give away a La Nutmeg Field Fairy, the fourth red card FC jersey for every 1,000 likes this video gets. All you gotta do is Not comment like that, which goal from this game is your favorite. Brilliant piece of finishing. Potential goal of the game candidate right here. Fans hold their breath as La Nutmeg bends it. Left Beckham from the corner kick to cut the lead to 44 to 6. Arsenal's goalkeeper is nowhere to be found as the ball gracefully curves into the net. Bro can literally score from anywhere. Literally seconds later, his teammate gives him a horrendous pass and he still scores. Down 44 to 8 now, La Nutmeg rises above the competition to score this insane header back. La Nutmeg loves getting head from his teammates. Field Ferry immediately scores his 10th goal of the match. Both these teams are horrendous. I would bake on the Arsenal players, but honestly, I don't even know any of these glorified burger flippers. With each jaw-dropping banger, La Nutmeg cuts down the Arsenal lead to save his coach from getting decapitated. Check out this play. Arsenal's goalie may have to ride the short bus to games after literally donating this goal. And even though Arsenal still has about triple their score, La Nutmeg continues to clown around. His goal is not only to save Chelsea from getting relegated, but it's also to get Arsenal's goalkeeper sent to work full-time in the coal mines. Rumor has it, Arsenal's goalie's wife divorced him and slid into Field Fairy's DMs after the match. Another goal of the match candidate here, as Field Fairy flicks the ball up to the keeper, bodies him to the ground, and then punches it home. If you are a soccer, football, or whatever you guys call this sport nowadays, you better be taking notes and learning from the greatest to ever do it. I'm going to drop two comments on this video, one for Team Football and one for Team Soccer. Whichever one gets more likes, I will use for the rest of my videos. I'm actually curious to see which will win. Oh, good-looking run. He's trying to create something. Oh, my goodness! Well, here's the replay, and I can't believe what I'm seeing. That's a great Everything carried on as usual, as La Nutmeg continued to embarrass defenders and score bangers until the unthinkable happened. La Nutmeg beats the defense here and does his signature rainbow over the goalie, but his sneaky rat teammate swooped in and stole his goal last second. You know the rules, Christopher and Kunku. Welcome to McDonald's, you idiot. If you steal La Nutmeg's goal, you are no longer on the team. 
Field Ferry heads one more home, and we head to halftime. Chelsea has cut the lead to a respectable 44 to 27. After watching a clean half of soccer from Field Ferry, drop updated score predictions. May I remind you that La Nutmeg has never played a game to the final whistle in his lifetime due to red cards. Chelsea fans pray that Field Ferry stays out of foul trouble as he picks up right where he left off in the second half. Oh, big chance! It's all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so... Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? I swear there's something wrong with this Arsenal goalie. Also, I'm not sure how their manager hasn't pulled him after letting up over 30 goals. Field Ferry's teammate gives him some nice head to cut the lead to six, and then Lay Nutmeg clowns the goalie again to make him score an own goal on himself. The once unthinkable comeback is now becoming a thrilling reality, and Chelsea fans roar with excitement at the resurgence led by the incredible La Nutmeg Field Ferry. And it must be. Oh, yeah! Surely. And a goal! Not sure how that wasn't a foul, but OK. La Nutmeg finishes the outrageous run, and the lead is cut to one. La Nutmeg plays a game of cat and mouse with the future coal miner goalie, and tied the game at 44 all. The stadium erupted in euphoria as Chelsea fans witnessed the unimaginable one-man comeback. But the job ain't finished. In the 87th minute, Chelsea lines up for a corner kick. Trying to pick out a teammate. The scoreboard now read 45 to 44 in Chelsea's favour, and the stadium erupts into a deafening roar. Fans reaching levels of jubilation that shattered the noise meter. La Nutmeg's heroics not only completed the comeback, but also saved Chelsea from relegation, etching his name into history books. Just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, La Nutmeg decides to have a little fun with the goalie. With a series of mind-bending dribbles, he left the goalie spinning like a confused top. The ball rolled into the net, and the score jumped to 46 to 44. Chelsea's manager thanks Field Ferry for saving his life and the stadium pulsates with noise as La Nutmeg continues to amaze and entertain. The fans are out of control, causing an earthquake throughout the European continent. The earthquake triggers La Nutmeg's anger management William issues, Saliba. and he absolutely brexits the opponents, sending both Arsenal. of these idiots to a the hospital challenge. and somehow and only getting a yellow card. La Not Nutmeg the dazzles the crowd one last time with a piss-missile dagger and runs over to the Chelsea crowd to thank them for the hospitality and the one billion dollars for his one game loan. Then in regular fashion, absolutely tears some burger flippers fibula into pieces and gets a red card from the ref. In the craziest comeback of all time, Chelsea has emerged victorious with a final score of 47 to 44. La Nutmeg's godlike performance solidified his status as the GOAT, leaving fans in awe of his rare, incurable disease. The stadium echoed with chants of triumph as Chelsea celebrates a historic win and La Nutmeg Field Ferry heads back to Nigeria. What a game! Drop any challenges you want to see next from Field Ferry, and once this video gets 6.9k likes, I'll drop an update on him. Smash that subscribe button to see Lay Nutmeg on the cover of EAFC. See you in the next one. Peace.